Adrian Ames, a familiar name in classic Hollywood, has left an indelible mark on many with her notable performances. Whether it's the first time you encountered her on screen or a particular work that holds a special place in your heart, there's something about her that resonates. We're curious, what's the work that introduced you to this iconic figure, or which one do you cherish the most? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below, especially your most cherished personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor. Stay tuned as we've got some funny, shocking, and sad facts coming up about Adrian Ames. Keep watching to uncover more about the life and career of this fascinating personality. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't miss out on the intriguing details we have in store. Adrian Ames, a prominent figure in the film industry, left an enduring impact on Hollywood during her era and beyond. Born in 1907, she began her career as a model before transitioning into acting. Her on-screen presence and versatile talent quickly caught the attention of audiences and filmmakers alike, Contributing significantly to Hollywood through roles in various films, she showcased her ability to portray diverse characters with depth and authenticity. Her performances resonated with viewers, making her a sought-after actress in the golden age of Hollywood. Notably, she played pivotal roles in films that not only entertained, but also reflected the social and cultural nuances of the time. Beyond her acting prowess, Ames played a crucial role in shaping the Hollywood landscape by navigating the industry's challenges. Her business acumen and resilience allowed her to overcome the intricacies, making her a respected figure among peers. Her influence extended beyond the silver screen, leaving an indelible mark on the business side of filmmaking. Her impact transcended the boundaries of her era as her work continued to be celebrated in subsequent decades, becoming a symbol of timeless talent and a trailblazer for aspiring actors and actresses, her legacy persists through the continued appreciation of films and acknowledgement of contributions to Hollywood. In conclusion, with captivating performances and behind-the-scenes influence, Adrienne Ames played a pivotal role in shaping the narrative of Hollywood during her era, leaving an enduring legacy that continues to resonate with audiences today. Adrian Ames, a prominent figure in the film industry, underwent a notable evolution in acting style over the years, skillfully adapting to changing trends in the field. Her journey through the cinematic landscape showcases a dynamic transformation reflective of the industry's evolution. In the earlier stages of her career, Ames demonstrated a distinctive approach marked by a commitment to traditional acting techniques prevalent during her time. As cinema evolved, so did her craft. She adeptly navigated the transition from silent films to the era of talkies, showcasing flexibility and the ability to stay relevant. During the advent of new genres and storytelling methods, she showcased a remarkable ability to embrace diversity in roles. Seamlessly transitioning from classic dramas to the emerging genres of comedy and suspense, Ames proved adaptability and range as an actress. Her knack for capturing the essence of different characters contributed to enduring presence in the industry. Demonstrating keen awareness of the cultural shifts in the film industry, Ames incorporated contemporary nuances into performances. Her acting style evolved in tandem with societal changes, allowing connection with audiences across generations. As the industry embraced more nuanced narratives and character arcs, she continued to refine her craft, leaving an indelible mark on the cinematic landscape. In conclusion, Ames' evolution as an actress is a testament to the ability to navigate the ever-changing currents of the film industry. The journey reflects not only a commitment to the craft, but also an astute responsiveness to the evolving tastes and preferences of the audience. Enduring Relevance stands as a captivating chapter in the annals of cinematic history. Born into the social circles of New York, Ames made an unconventional entry into Hollywood. Her allure and glamour photographs caught the attention of a Paramount Pictures executive, earning her a contract without the need for a screen test. On the silver screen, she often portrayed characters that mirrored her real-life persona, adorned in luxurious furs, satin, and jewelry. In 1934, she made headlines by filing for a substantial 9053 tax allowance, equivalent to 146000 today, citing wardrobe expenses. Notably, her standout performance came in the film You're Telling Me, 
where she charmed audiences alongside W.C. Fields as a captivating princess. Liz Smith, in her biography Natural Blonde, sheds light on a personal connection between Ames and a Fort Worth, Texas resident. Smith's grandmother once rented a room to her before her move to Los Angeles. Tragically, she succumbed to lung cancer, as reported by Smith. Following her untimely demise, Ames found her final resting place at Oakwood Cemetery in her hometown of Fort Worth, Texas. The city that once witnessed her early years ultimately became her eternal abode. Ames' journey, marked by glamour and glimpses of her off-screen life, remains a chapter etched in Hollywood history. The allure that secured her a contract without a screen test echoes in the memory of those captivated by the golden age of cinema. During World War II, she actively volunteered with bundles for Blue Jackets and featured in advertisements for Chesterfield cigarettes. Her commitment to supporting the war effort and presence in cigarette ads reflected a unique aspect of her life beyond the silver screen. Known for impeccable taste and fashion, she earned the reputation of being one of Hollywood's best-dressed women. Her love for designer clothes added another layer to her public image, showcasing a personal style that resonated beyond on-screen performances. In recognition of contributions to the entertainment industry, she was posthumously honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 1612 Vine Street in Hollywood, California on February 8, 1960. This enduring tribute solidified her place in Hollywood history. With wartime volunteerism, iconic fashion sense, and posthumous recognition on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, she left a lasting impact that transcended the boundaries of cinema. Adrian Ames, a figure not confined to the silver screen, displayed a distinct path beyond Hollywood glamour. While often associated with the allure of cinema, her early years reveal a different facet. Taking literature classes at Columbia University, she embarked on a journey that hinted at a broader intellectual pursuit. Born in 93, contrary to the commonly cited 97, Ames' life unfolds with intriguing nuances. The discrepancy in birth years, evident in her grave and death certificate, adds an enigmatic layer to her biography, prompting a closer examination of the details surrounding her birth. In the realm of personal connections, she was the mother of Barbara Ames, a fact that often remains overshadowed would by her cinematic achievements. The role of motherhood, a crucial aspect of her life, deserves recognition as it played a significant part in shaping the narrative beyond the spotlight. As we delve into the lesser-known dimensions of this individual, these snippets provide a foundation for a more comprehensive understanding of her life. From literary pursuits to the intricacies of birth details and familial ties, she emerges as more than a Hollywood persona, a woman with a story woven through various aspects of her existence. Unveiling these facets contributes to a nuanced portrayal, shedding light on the layers that extend beyond the glamorous images captured on celluloid. This exploration aims to present a more holistic perspective, adding depth to the narrative of an individual whose impact transcended the boundaries of cinema. In 1927, she made her initial foray into the film industry, stepping into the shoes of Pola Negri as a stand-in. This marked the commencement of a career that would unfold with distinctive layers beyond the glitz of Hollywood. Notably, her roots in the world of entertainment extended beyond the silver screen. She, a figure with ties not solely to cinema, had a familial connection that added depth to her narrative. She was the sister of actress Gladys Mackler, a fact often overshadowed would by her own cinematic achievements. This familial link provides a unique perspective, showcasing a connection beyond the individualistic realm of fame. Before gracing the Hollywood scene, she began her performance journey with the Ziegfeld Follies, adopting the name Adrienne Truex. This early chapter hinted at her versatility, setting the stage for a career that would later encompass more than just acting. Intriguingly, her journey was not limited to the glitzy facade of Hollywood glamour. Beyond the captivating allure captured on celluloid, her multifaceted career included a stint as a stand-in, a familial tie to another actress, and a start with the Ziegfeld Follies. These lesser-known facets contribute to a more comprehensive understanding of her life, enriching the narrative of a woman whose impact transcended the boundaries of cinema. Born in 93, Adrian Ames led a life that extended far beyond the glamour of Hollywood. At the age of 17, she entered into an unhappy marriage with Durward Dumont Truax, a wealthy oil man. Seeking solace in an affair with actor Bruce Cabot, she left her husband and married Bruce on October 31, 1933. 
1939, discontent with the roles offered, Ames decided to step away from acting. Transitioning to New York City, she took up hosting a popular radio show, showcasing a shift in her career and interests. However, her journey took a tragic turn. On May 31, 1947, at the age of 43, she succumbed to cancer, surrounded by her daughter and mother at her bedside. Despite the twists and turns in her personal life and career choices, Ames's impact on Hollywood and beyond remains a significant part of the industry's history. This brief exploration into her personal and professional journey provides a glimpse into a woman whose life was marked by more than just on-screen performances. Adrienne Ames' Hollywood journey unfolded unconventionally, discovered for her allure in glamour photographs, securing a Paramount Pictures contract without a screen test. On the silver screen, her real-life persona often mirrored the luxurious furs and jewelry she adorned. A standout performance came in the film You're Telling Me, alongside W.C. Fields. Liz Smith's biography, Natural Blonde, revealed a personal connection between Ames and a Fort Worth resident, emphasizing her roots. During World War II, she actively volunteered and featured in Chesterfield cigarette ads, showcasing a unique facet beyond cinema. Known for impeccable fashion sense, she earned the reputation of being one of Hollywood's best-dressed women. Posthumously, a Hollywood Walk of Fame star recognized her contributions to the entertainment industry. Not confined to the silver screen, Ames had a distinct path beyond Hollywood glamour early years hinted at a broader intellectual pursuit, taking literature classes at Columbia University. Contrary birth-year discrepancies added an enigmatic layer to her biography. Motherhood, often overshadowed would by cinematic achievements, played a crucial role in shaping her narrative. Her roots in entertainment extended beyond acting as the sister of actress Gladys Mackler. Before Hollywood, she began with the Ziegfeld Follies, showcasing versatility beyond acting. A multifaceted career included a stint as a stand-in, familial ties, and a start with the Ziegfeld Follies, enriching the narrative. In 1927, entering the film industry as a stand-in, familial connection with Gladys Mackler provided depth beyond individual fame. Beyond Hollywood glamour, life unfolded with captivating allure on celluloid, showcasing a woman whose impact transcended cinema. Born in 93, Ames led a life beyond Hollywood glamour. An unhappy marriage at 17 led to an affair with actor Bruce Cabot, culminating in marriage in 1933. Dissatisfied with acting roles in 1939, she transitioned to New York, hosting a popular radio show. Tragically, she succumbed to cancer in 1947, leaving behind a significant impact on Hollywood and beyond. Her life, marked by more than on-screen performances, offers a glimpse into a woman whose impact resonates in the industry's history. This exploration into her personal and professional journey provides a nuanced understanding of a life beyond glamorous images.